So I recently had the Fung Bros here in the studio so I can show them all about 3D printing and what you can do with this crazy technology. Well, I wanted to give myself a little bit of a challenge and try to 3D model something that they would actually enjoy and be able to take home with them. Now you can find some really incredible models online that you can just download and start 3D printing. In fact, I found a few of these from Hollow Props that were just incredibly designed that I was able to print for them because I know they're a big fan of Asian cuisine. And in fact, they are also launching their own chili oil called Smala. Now, this is exactly where I wanted to jump in and start 3D modeling some things that are gonna be unique to them that they'd be really interested in and care about to really get the full effect of what you can do with 3D printing. Now, the first thing I went and did was a really straightforward one and it's a great place for you to start if you're new to 3D modeling and that's just trying to model a basic logo. So I took their Fung Bros logo and created that in Shaper 3D. I also took their Smala Chili Oil and decided to model that as well so that I could get that printed. Now, here's where things get really interesting when it comes to 3D printing, is that it's an iterative process. So I knew I wanted this to be multicolor. The Neptune 3D printers aren't inherently multicolor 3D printers, but you can pause your prints and change the color of filament to give this multicolor effect in your prints, which is great. But after printing some of these signs for them, I realized I kind of wanted something that was a little bit cooler for them to be able to take home, not just a sign that they could stick on their fridge or on their wall. I wanted to make this into a stand with interchangeable signs. So if they wanted to post things online with either their logo or with the chili oil, they could swap these in and out and actually use them at home for a dish for things like their keys or wallet or AirPods or whatever they wanted to put in there. Now for this, I use the easiest 3D modeling software that's out there and it's completely free and it's called Tinkercad and it's all online. So you don't even need any special hardware. It's all through the browser. So you can use your laptop, a Chromebook, your phone, an iPad, an Android tablet, whatever you wanna use to actually 3D model that. And it's just using basic shapes and you can subtract and add those to create a 3D model. Now I wanted to kick this up a notch and attempt to 3D model an actual smaller bottle for them as well as make this extra complicated by having it actually pour out of the bottle like they have shown in one of their promotional photos and have it be able to be balanced so you can have it freely standing similar to those coffee cups that were very popular a few years ago and to do this I'm gonna be doing it in my favorite 3d modeling app which is Nomad Sculpt it's super affordable at $15 and really accessible across a number of different devices and to get things started I added a reference image inside here of one of the bottles and to do this you're just going to click on the picture button at the top and then you can click on the reference image to enable that and then select one from inside your iPad or whatever device that you're working with and then adjust the actual position of where that's going to be as well as the opacity here or even the scale of how large or small you want that. Now we're going to be using a new tool that I'm not familiar with until now and it's the lathe tool which is just incredible. Now if I put this in the center of the screen I can actually actually use this and start drawing over top of the bottle here on one half and it's going to generate what's looking like an actual bottle and I can continually click on this and add points and adjust the scaling as I'd like. You'll see if I click on these little points here, if I if they turn black, it's gonna be a sharp edge versus a smooth section here and I can continue to drag these around as I need to, to create this bottle shape. It's really straightforward and easy. Once I'm done, I can click on the validate button and we now have a bottle that we can start modeling directly on top of. So here I can select the lathe tool, the curve option, and then start drawing a basic shape. It doesn't have to be perfect. We can refine it here. And now I can come in <laughs> and I can start tightening this up. You'll see here, if you click on the little points, it makes it a sharp edge versus rounded and smooth. So here, I can make that sharp or rounded or rounded or sharp. And here, I can continue to edit this, or even if you come in and in between these, you can add additional points by clicking and adding. So here, I'm gonna add some really sharp points to this and just get an overall design that I like going for this bottle cap. Another interesting thing here is at the top, if you really wanted to, you could add some extra points and dig them in 
to create those openings. Same thing on the bottom, but I'm actually gonna end up hollowing those out later on, so I'm not too concerned with that at this point in time. And here's the final version of the bottle that I went with. As you can see, it's not exactly a one-to-one -one version of the bottle that's in the, in the image there, but I was going for something that's a little bit more stylized. Now, I've also noticed that there's ridges inside of the cap of the bottle. So to do this, I'm gonna use the radial symmetry function that's gonna allow me to edit across multiple points on the 3D model. This is such a wild tool. Now to make the splash, I'm gonna end up just using the tube tool and very similar to the lathe, I can draw a basic shape with this curve tool and adjust each of the individual points as I see needed or add extra points until I've got it in the semi-orientation that I would like to have it. I can then add additional tubes to the scene and then select all of them and weld them together to create one spilled object. Now, in order for this to sit flat, what I'm gonna do is, you'll see here the base isn't perfectly flat. So what I'm gonna come in and do is use the trim tool and I'm gonna select the rectangle option here and just trim off the bottom. Now we should have a nice flat edge for this to sit on when printed. Additionally, I took the 3D model logo that I had designed previously in Shaper 3D, brought it in here, and then stylized it a bit using some of the basic tools here in Nomad Sculpt, and then split it up and started to maneuver it using the gizmo tool directly into the bottle before merging it all into one object. I now have three different objects that I can work with when it comes to 3D printing. I have the spill, I have the bottle, and I have the bottle top that I've worked with here that I can now individually print in different options. Now again, I'm nowhere near as skilled as some of these other amazing 3D modeling artists that are out there, but if I can do something like this, you can too. And hopefully this video has inspired you somewhat to go in and try and attempt to do something like this using some of the tools directly in Nomad Sculpt that you can then go and start 3D printing your own models like this small chili oil bottle or some of those logos. I did want to take a moment to say thank you to Elgu for sponsoring today. Today's video, as you probably saw, I 3D printed all of those things for them over on the Elegoo Neptune 4 and the Neptune 4 Plus 3D printers. Now, Elegoo is really known for their great resin 3D printers like the Saturn 3 Ultra and the Elegoo Mars 4, which I also used to 3D print some things for the Fung Bros as well during their visit. If you're interested in more information about any of Elegoo's products, you can find links to those down below. I forgot the most important thing about this whole small bottle design and print is that it actually stands and balances on itself. I, first attempt, I didn't even have to tweak anything with this. It was just a straight print and it worked properly. The actual spill fits right into the nozzle and then you can just sit the top on there or glue it all together if you wanted. I also wanna say a big thank you to all my Patreon supporters for your continued support of me making videos like this one here. If you're interested in things like my 3D printer settings for those Elegoo Neptune 4 3D printers, you'll find those over in my Patreon. I also wanted to say thank you to the Fung Bros for making the trip from New York City here to Rochester, New York to check out the studio, hang out for the afternoon and see what you can do with 3D printing. But hey, let me know what you all thought about this project and what you might have done differently if you had done this yourself. And thanks so much for watching you all. I'll see you next time. Bye now.